All right, YouTube. Uh, this is the second week or so with my new student, and I'll let you know what the update is. How is it? Going? Tubiest of the tubiest. That's you and I, 50 plus. So, of course, I have a new student, Steve. And how's it going? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I've, I've been enjoying his company, he's enjoying mine. He's doing really good. And uh, we're at the, at the phase where uh, we could actually start team driving, and the guy is driving so good. He's telling the truck so well. The decisions he's making are, are calculated, and, and the guy's just doing an excellent job. I have no problem at all uh, team driving with him and, and, and go to the bunk while he's driving down the road. I have no no qualms with it at all. Uh, it's, it's really good. Uh, the only uh, downside to it is, you know, he's probably got a little bit more than two weeks left and, you know, he'll be upgrading and then I'd start the process over again. It, it's, he's, he's really doing a fantastic job and I'm, you know, I'm glad to have him. We worked out really good. We get along really well and we enjoy each other's companies, you know, so I'm enjoying it. Uh, so, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, and this was going to be for any of you future drivers and in any of the of my fellow Swifties that are out there right now listening to me. Um, if you're not a mentor, I'm talking to you, okay? If you are a mentor already, hey man, it's, it's more than just the money, we both know that. I mean, we're not doing it for free. You know, if, if it was no pay in it, then we wouldn't be doing it. Why would you share your space for free, right? So I'm never going to say something that's never about the money because that's always bullshit. If anybody tell you that, tell them to start donating the all that they pay to some, you know, to a charity or something, and see if they don't change their mind. Yeah, whatever you do, you you can pay for it. You doing it for the money, so don't oh, don't give me that shit. It ain't because you love what you do. Man, bullshit. Okay, so it pays pays, you know, to, to be a mentor, but. Uh, that shouldn't be the only reason that, that, that you would want to be a mentor, okay? Uh, that being said, if you guys are out here with me, being your fellow Swifties, and you guys are, are mentoring, uh, it's it's a good feeling to be a mentor, help somebody else achieve, and, uh, and you know, they're thankful, Swift is thankful, and, and you should be patting yourself on the back for it. For, of sharing your space with somebody and and, uh, and helping them achieve their dreams. And if you are not a mentor and you're eligible to be a mentor, Swifties, I, I implore you to just give it a shot. Try and and uh, and and see how you like it. You know, um, vet your future student. Okay. Meaning, get them on the phone, talk to them, you know, see if you guys, you know, can can get along, you know, by, you know, ask them what the kind of interest to see in. Simple questions like, you know, what kind of music do you like? Um, what do you like to eat? You know, um, do you have any uh, religious beliefs that would prevent you from doing certain things? You know, like, uh, uh, I know that there are some religions that don't, don't allow drivers to uh, carry certain freight you know like beer freight or something like that and if you're frequently carrying beer you want to make sure that they're going to be okay with it that sort of stuff you know vet them just make sure that you guys can can coexist and and if you can then uh, that may be a good student for you and hey look I want y'all to see this dude. Yes, I know my windshield is like extra, extra dirty. That guy is backing out. He pulled head first into the uh, 
into that hole that he's in right now. I'm, I'm gonna go over here in the morning and fuel up and I'll clean my windshield. I know it looks like crap. But uh, that dude right just there. Just a minute ago, that dude, well not just a minute ago, he, he's leaving right now, so he must have just did a 30. Okay, well this, this little truck stop is got full. I'm trying to figure out what he's fixing to do. Uh, it got full pretty quick. Uh, looks like he's leaving. He better not back up into that spot. Uh, it looked like he fixed the fuel. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, this is why that was such a big deal. Okay, look. <laughs> he, he was backed into that spot. Y'all just saw him uh, uh, back out of. He was actually parked. Correct. He was backed in, all right? But as you can see, the sun is in, like right now, if I do this, see the sun is on us, right? The sun is setting over there. And, and facing this way, you get a lot of sun, okay? So the dude pulled out and tried to make a U-turn and, and pull forward back into that same spot. But the truck stop started to fill up. Look, 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 look. look. Yeah, I know, I know my windshield dirty. Okay, look, look, look. That dude is backing out that spot. He pulled head first in it. Look. Ain't that, that's crazy, crazy. And there's a lot of room right here. All you have to do is make a U-turn and then get up in there. So what happened, uh, the old boy was trying to, he, he, he was trying to make a U-turn and he was gonna pull head first like you saw him, right? And uh, I guess it's just to hide from the sun. And when he pulled out, another truck came like this. He so he started pulling out, and another truck was fixing to get behind him and then back into that spot. So boy, when he started pulling out, he's just like, Man! and he went real fast and, and tried to turn and spin around and come back to cut that dude off so he could steal his spot. Now he in the he in the spot like this, he ain't kind of cooking. He, he could he could he couldn't get in. So he sat there. And the other truck was parallel in front of me, uh, horizontal in front of, uh, horizontal in front of me, uh, pointing that you know with his truck pointing that way because he's trying to get into that hole. That guy just tried to U-turn and get back in. So he sat there for about ten minutes for the guy that was in front of me went ahead and backed up and went somewhere else. Then the guy had to back all the way, straighten up, and now, dude, look, listen, I can make so many goddamn jokes. Neither one of these trucks got Swift on the side. Okay, the hole, the hole that the guy just backed out of and pulled off, okay? That truck that y'all just saw that was head first in the hole, he, he pulled out and then he backed into the, to the other hole where that guy just pulled out of. It's some cray, 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 cray shit. And the reason why it happened that way is because it took probably um, I got to excuse me. What the hell? It's a popo. It's a bunch of popos coming up in here. Oh shit! No, I'm black. I got a duck. That's no goddamn joke. Shit. Laugh. Um. But anyway, look, look. It's not really a joke. Um. <clears throat> what happened is this trucks that when we pulled in here, we only planned to do a thirty, and um. And it was probably this pro this truck stop probably hold maybe eighty trucks, and it might have been. 20 trucks here so we went inside and uh, took care of a little business inside and came back out and uh hope they ain't looking for some usual suspect up in there i'm, I'm serious shit. I'm trying to close my damn blind um we went in came back out and we still had like 15 minutes before our 30 was up so it was only in there after 15 minutes and this truck stop was probably 10 spots left that quick. I mean, it was like roaches trying to get to find a hiding place. It's the way it is in these places, right? So I said, man, look, it's getting, we, we might need to go on pause. We went and shut down. But in that, in that entry, boy, I could have made a hundred jokes. This, you need people crazy, man. And when they try to grab a spot real quick, even if it's head first in, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. They trying to get somewhere from somebody else to get to the spot. That cray cray. But that's how it is out here, man. I'm telling you, it's a joke a minute.
by the way, uh, none of them trucks had Swift on the side. So, back to the mentor thing. Listen, uh, that's going to be people tell you. You need 100, 150 years of, of, of drive experience for you to be a mentor. That's the dumbest, dumb, dumb, dumbest, dumbest crap I ever heard. And I, I get that all the time. And whenever I respond to it, they quit responding to me. Number one is they're not intelligent enough to respond to me because I'm going to set them up. And then I'm gonna let them say stupid thing. They, what, I, first question I ask them, well, why? Why is that? Well, you need to know. I, you know, you know, you you just a rookie yourself. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah, that, okay. I've I've delivered over a hundred loads since I've been with Swift, and this is the first company I've ever driven for. I've, I've delivered over a hundred loads. Not one time have I ever been late. Uh, and, and probably the vast majority of those times I've been early. Uh, I don't have any accidents. No, no issues. So, if I continue to do that for the next 10 years, now all of a sudden I'm okay to be a, a mentor. It's, so, it's, it's just time is all it is. See how stupid that is? That's the dumbest stuff I've heard in a long time. I had a lot of dumb stuff from folks, but that's, that's dumb. Okay? Not only that, a student is gonna be on my truck for 200 hours. So if I've been driving for 201 hours, that's how long I've been driving. Let's say I've been driving truck for 201 hours. I already have one hour more experience than I could possibly give this person. That's how stupid these people are, man. If, if, if somebody's on the truck with you for 200 hours and you've been driving for 20 years, how much experience you think you're gonna be able to get that person? You can only give them 200 hours worth of experience, you dumbass. They people are crazy, man. They just they they've been sniffing too much diesel fuel. They don't they don't their brain don't work. They can only regurgitate the ridiculousness that they've heard in the past. You know, you gotta have a bunch of years of experience before you may mentor. Well, are you a mentor, sir? No, I ain't gonna never let nobody ride my seat but my dog over here. I pet them. They gotta have a dog. They can't know what you mean in here. Stupid ass. Stupid ass. Come on. Come on, man. They, you know, then I had someone say they've been mentors. Why are you not still a mentor? Uh, you know, I, 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 they, they don't understand. If you are eligible, to become a mentor, I implore you to give it a shot. And I'm gonna tell you how Swift is with this, okay? You you start mentoring, you put somebody in a truck, they only own your truck for 200 hours and, and, and then you're gonna team drive, you can make some good money and um, it's only gonna be for a month. And if you decide, you, you send a Qualcomm message to say when you're ready for your next student, you might wanna drive a week or two, a month before you take your next student. And you can, you can have that freedom for a little while, you know? I mean, uh, it's not, they're not forcing somebody on you just because you're, you know, eligible to be a mentor, okay? And so you can take a break from it if you want. But the company is cool and have somebody on the truck with you that you can chat with, and, you know, that, you know, talk back instead of bark back, you know? And, and you know, you're actually doing something to help someone else. You know, yes, you're gonna make some money, but you're doing something to help someone else, and that goes a long ways. You know, it's some. I mean, it's like about. Y'all see that? You keep focusing on them bugs and shit. I'm trying to focus on them cars in the back. Let me try to find a bug-free spot. See all them popos on them trailer? I mean, look at see see all them cops. Man. Hey, and by the way, don't y'all be you know tripping on me tonight. Make it fit to keep wafting back for you. know you just ramble. God damn it, y'all know I ramble. So don't be getting trippy with me. I want y'all to see them popo. And why come I keep looking over my shoulder and shit? You know how you be, hey. Come on. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, but, you know, listen. If you guys can become a mentor, become a mentor. And, and all you need is to have the willingness and the ability to teach someone else what you know. Just because you can do it don't mean you can teach it. 
you know. It happens every day in professional sports. You know, they play the game, then get out of the game and want to be a coach, and their teams lose like shit because they, yeah, they can play it, but they can't teach it. You know, you have to have a heart of a teacher. You have to be willing to share your space. You have to be willing to keep a smile on your face and, and uh, you know, and make have someone else keep a smile on their face. You're, you're in charge. And so uh, I implore you to just get a set of rules. Write them down, things that you that you got, have to have in your truck, and then vet a student and ask them, are these things, can you can you manage these things? I Everybody know me. You know where I'm running right now. I'm in Salt Lake to Denver. And we're gonna run in the mountains. We're gonna we're gonna have some Wyoming weather and we're going we're going up and down and we're running 500 miles a day. If you can't handle that, you probably ain't gonna want to sit in this seat. It's not gonna be good. And I'm not gonna let it be good. I'm gonna tell you, you got, you know, probably gotta go find somebody else to be a mentor because that's how I run. I wanna teach you, but we're gonna, we're gonna run, okay? And if that's what goes on on your truck, then you need to make sure that the person can let your truck understand that's what's going on, okay? And then it's gonna be a pretty good thing. So I implore you guys that if you and gals, especially women, there's a lot of females out there that uh, needs mentors, you know, and they wait and wait and wait and wait and wait for a female mentor because it's not very many. So if you're a female driver out there and you are, uh, are eligible to be a mentor, give it a shot, you know, come on. Help out another, another lady who wants to get out here and she may not want to ride with a male, you know, you can help her, you know, so come on. Guys, same thing, you know, uh, as many drivers as Swift is bringing into the company every week, they're always short on mentors. I have people who I've recruited that come out, come aboard, and then they end up getting discouraged because of the length of time it takes for them to get a mentor. And I, and, and, and and some of you Swifties are gonna say, "50, yo man, now no, nah, I've done, I've done it, and it sucks." And you know, I, I didn't have such a positive experience with my first student. You know, it wasn't bad experience in, in my book you know people are people I've managed people uh, you know and I, I understand some you know things don't mix so I didn't have a real problem but it wasn't a positive experience you know I guess for, for my student and uh, I didn't quit man you know crazy motherfucker I didn't quit man I went, I moved forward, and now I got a, a student on my truck that, I, that is doing really well, and he's gonna, and he's gonna be successful, and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that. So if you've had a bad experience, you know, come on, man, suck that up, and and reach out and grab some, reach down and grab somebody else and pull them up too, okay? Pull them up to the good day with you, okay? Come on, let's help our fellow Swifties get going out here. Any. Questions, comments, concerns, please put them down there in the bottom, okay? Any you old truck drivers is gonna say, You gotta have 44 years, man, read that Don't don't come in on my stay on my feet, because I'm smarter than you and I'm gonna start talking to you and you ain't gonna be able to respond, and then you're gonna look like an idiot. I don't want nobody to look like an idiot, I just want you to shut the hell up. Okay? Here we go. Y'all have some fun, I'll see you real soon. Hey! What we say now? Deliver undistracted. Hey everybody, 50 plus here. What do I do when my recruiter won't return my calls? They're lying to me. They don't have answers to the questions I'm asking. Problem is, once I get those questions, it's already too late. Industry standard. Once a recruiter has got you, they got you. You belong to them. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you my recruiter's information. Her name is Autumn, and if you're thinking about joining Swift, that's who I want you to contact. Give her a call. She's going to send you through the process. Eventually, you're going to wind up on a mentor's truck. When you get in that truck, you're going to be in that truck for 200 hours. For 200 hours, I want your phone in the bunk. If you're willing to do that, I'm going to send you a Blue Pirate headset. You need to let Autumn know 50 Plus sent you.